Can you talk a little bit, you know, when you gave your Golden Globes acceptance speech, what I, which I thought, as I told you, was, that was a good moment, um, about some of what we're seeing in terms of the Me Too movement and um, roles for, for women of a certain age. Um, what just, age is that? You know, I, <laughs> I think it's an important age. How about that? <laughs> um, where do you see that going? I mean, I think you had a great acceptance speech. Regina King had uh, some really good words to talk about women working together and collaboratively. And um, I think there's just a little something in there for all of us, even though we don't work in, in film. Yeah. I don't, I don't think it just applies to the film industry, the entertainment industry. Um, I, uh, I felt in that room uh, an atmosphere that was quite different. For, I've been in that room before, and um, it was very moving to me to see, first of all, the diversity. There was real diversity in that room. There was African Americans, there were African Africans, there were uh, uh, a lot of uh, Asians. There were Hispanics. I mean, it just felt so good because it's an industry that tells stories. And the more people and the more diversity you have in our industry, I think the more interesting stories you're going to get. Uh, because basically, we all are the same. We all, you know, react pretty much uh, the same way to, to certain stimuli. And so, it's infinite, the stories that we can tell. And so I, felt it, I found it so moving to, to see that and to feel that. And then the whole woman's thing, I think, um, I'd like to think that it will never go back to the way it was before, and I, but I think that is gonna be dependent on those of us who have enough clout to, to demand that it happens. And when Regina King said, I'm gonna, I pledge that I'm going to have a 50-50, uh, you know, women, men on my projects. Um, that that's what's going to make a difference. Mm -hmm. um, and I don't, I I I I don't want. I'm not. I'm kind of a. I feel I feel uncomfortable in politics. Um, I would like my work just to speak for myself. I feel uncomfortable because you never know who's using you, <laughs> or you can, it could be hard. You could think someone's using you, and then you figure out, oh, no, that wasn't, it was that person who was using you. So, um, but I think it is, I think it is something that, that's hopefully going to become part of our culture, but it will depend on those of us who can to make sure that it does. Mm -hmm.